and I'm diff I've got to play as Jill. I need my boy Barry in the game, you know. Hello, Barry. Barry's awesome. Man, this takes me back. This takes me back. In the best possible way. Hell yes. Alpha team is flying around the, the Akla Mountains. Situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of our mission. That little bit of acting there is better than any of the acting that happens in the rest of the game. Raccoon <laughs> City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Oh no. Victims were apparently eaten. Om nom nom. The team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Good old stars. I say that. There's only a couple of decent members of the team, to be honest. Don't know how the rest of them got in. Oh, Chris! I love this opening sequence. This is classic. This is just like campy cliche awesomeness. This. It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it, but strangely, most of the equipment was still there. Wesker. However, we soon discovered why. Chris's <laughs> face. <laughs> Some shenanigans going on here. Hey! Come here! Hey! It sounds like someone trying to get someone's attention, but not really. Oh no! Yeah, some super pro special forces guy there. Can't deal with a hand. the best no, don't go. that's Brad the buggered off and left them though isn't it cowardly son of a bitch it's like well peace out guys know each other for years and all that but that sorry Evidently, I've got more to live for than the rest of you. Oh, I forgot the cast list. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Like a proper movie. They really, really try to set it up like it was a movie. I love it. Mary Burton. Ah, oh, Rebecca. Oh, I like to think I bring some Rebecca Chambers energy to the whole situation. Albert Terrified, Wester. but perky. Resident Evil. God love Wesker though. It's like spot the bad guy. I mean, all of the all of the sides are there, guys. He's wearing sunglasses at night. Only jerks do that. Oh yes. What is this? Wow. What a mansion. It's a mansion, Barry. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it. Don't open that door. But Chris is. Uh, what is it? Barry's just clueless in this opening sequence. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. I mean, hey, let me handle this. They're all one big team. Stay alert. Will do. Oh, Zero, how you doing? Holy crap! There's my hundredth follower as well. The timing is impeccable. Holy hell! Thank you, bro. That's awesome. Yes, yes, Warrior of Light now. Oh man. Oh man, you I'll hit me goal. Just started. 
Yes, the Sonic shenanigans stream is a go. Awesome. That's the best possible start to the stream. Oh, jeez. Well, someone turned themselves a VIP badge, I think. Ah, oh, jeez. That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, the Warrior of Light invitation just came through, like, yesterday, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah, over the moon with that. Can we... Oh, no. Ooh, I thought it crashed. Whew. Ooh, it's a bit funny. No, it's because I'm trying to... Wait. I thought you could interact with stuff. What's the button for that? Oh, it's not showing. There's meant to be text shown there when I look at stuff. Uh-oh. Text isn't loading. What? what I'm is good. This? I'm hoping this actually works, but there, there doesn't seem to be the... Uh, what is it? Subtitles don't seem to be working. Jill, see if you can oh, you. Any other clues. I'll be examining this. I should have given this game a bit more of a test run before I started playing it. Chris's blood. Because if I can't read the descriptions for stuff, then we're going to have so much fun trying to play this game. <laughs> um, oh, well, we'll keep playing. We'll see if we can muddle through. I really want to play this. Like, just. Like, just got it, like, yesterday, or... I think it was yesterday. I applied a while ago, but I know they only send invites out every now and again. Oh no. Oh shit, no, what? Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Nope, didn't, didn't think this one through. Die now, please. Don't want to eat my foot. You're not dead, though. Wait, no, hang on. Should we just stab him? Uh oh. Oh no! Dad, at least take me out to dinner first. Oh no. I'm trying to be cocky. I'm in caution already. I just started. Ah, it's just stupid. I haven't played this game for like. Yikes. Probably it's been about 20 years since I last played it. Maybe ish. Barry? Barry? What is it? Oh no. Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. In the head, Barry. There we go. Barry's got it. Barry knows what he's doing. What is it? That's the third time Barry's Should asked what something is. Too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. I'm disappointed that the th stuff isn't showing up right. It's not even here. It's not even like take the whatever this is. I just have to try and remember what everything is. I hope we can read the files and stuff be fine, because if we can't, it's really not worth playing. Oh, I'm disappointed. Barry, looking a bit tense there. All good, buddy. Whoa. I wonder if I've got time to find another copy of it and try and play it. Mm. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Okay. I promise not to leave. Uh, can we? Okay. I thought there was ribbons there, ink ribbons for seven, but uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh. <laughs> he wasn't hiding under the stairs. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. Good to know I the super know special forces on. smart people well, are stumped. It can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay, 
I'll try the door on the opposite side. Okay. This mansion is gigantic. I mean, we presumably. We trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? Uh huh. Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. The master of unlocking. It's like, why does Barry have the lockpick if I'm the lockpick expert? Maybe I'll need it. Huh? Oh, no, no sense. All right, ciao, Budski. If Where? something happens, let's meet up in this hall. I mean, if, if something happens, if one of us dies, let's meet this up here. I'll be there. Yeah, yeah. Actually, he's not lying. He's pretty good at showing up when you need him. Okay, I'm, I'm concerned about not being able to look at descriptions of things, though. I don't like that. I don't know why that would be the case either. It seems like a weird thing to be missing. Mm. Huh, I wonder if it makes a difference if I'm... Sorry, I know this is going to mess things up for a second. Oh, it does work like that. Oh, that's weird. Okay, sorry. Let me just readjust the screen here. Uh, two seconds. I, I apologize. I'm sorry. I'll take it. It's better than nothing. At least we can read stuff now. A woman drawing water. There we go. That's better. <sighs> oh, but now it's not even showing you me moving around. So that's great. <sighs> Why though? Oh, it doesn't want to, does it? Why do you not want to play ball with me? Okay, are you going to show me moving this time? Okay. Ah, okay, 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 all right, okay, all right. Yeah, there we go. It's not perfect, but it, it'll, it'll do. Let me know if there's any issues. A picture of steep scenery. Nothing unusual. <laughs> Everything's unusual. A chubby, how dare you? Don't think of a nicer word than that. Jill. Just because you're so svelte gives you the right to... Rag at other people? I don't think so. Okay, I'm going to re-equip my... Oopsie. No, I'm going to re-equip my gun. And I'm going to shoot this dude in the back. Because I'm nice that way. Holy... Ha! Oh, you're still not dead. I forgot how many bullets he took. Jeez! Various pictures. And, uh... Uh, oh, there's some ink ribbons. Now, I'm debating whether to keep these, because, you know, I've got save state options, but really, I wanted to try and play it properly, but... I think the save state's gonna get the better of me at some point, I think. Okay, but already... Oh, yeah! Obvious item is obvious. Okay, let's push the steps. Handy dandy that there happens to be a set of steps in here, huh? Wait, can I push it to any side or does that have to be a specific side? I can't remember. It's been a while. It's a map. Yeah, I guess I'll take it. I guess I could use that. That might come in handy, yeah. Might, might, might be just useful. Mm-hmm. Uh, how many bullets do I have left? One. Oh. Oh. I used so many bullets straight off the bat there. Yee Yikesy. Oopsie. Shouldn't have used that many uh, creepy stuff. Well, I mean, depends what your definition of creepy is, to be honest. Like skulls and... I mean... Oh, yeah, this moves. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba 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 ba. Hup. Wait. I thought there was an item underneath the thing. Ah. Dad. Ah! Oh shit, I forgot about this! No! Oh! Fudge! Oh god! And when I say I forgot about it, I mean I forgot they jumped straight through. I thought it was when you came back the other way. Oh. 
Okay. All right, heart attack over. We're fine. I've got the herb. I'm going to use it because I'm already on caution from the first bloody zombie we encountered. So let's just use that, shall we? Green herbs are very good for the health. It's a fact. We all know this. Um, okay. A carving of armor. No cry. I need some ammo. That would be nice. I was it Resident Evil 2 is my favorite of the Resident Evils, the original, the OG Resident Evils. Um, but one definitely has its charm. Hello. Hello. Uh, you can tell I haven't played this for a while because I can't remember where anything is. I remember certain things. Nothing useful, then why am I in here? There's got to be something worth choring in here. A useless room. Great. Oh, she's giving up talking about the paintings as well now. We're done with that. Of these super thin corridors. Wait, which room is this again? Every room is a panic. Oh, I know what room we're going to. I think. If my memory serves me correctly. Is this the room? Ah, this is the room. So, hint here is do not take that shotgun quite yet. That would be the smart thing to not do. Very tempting though. An urn with a beautiful picture on it. Nothing unusual. Seems to be a favourite phrase. Nothing unusual after everything you look at. As if to say, why are you looking at this nondescript scenery? There's a lot more interesting things going on elsewhere. Like, you know, zombies everywhere. So if you took that shotty gun, you get squish squished by the ceiling in that room. So that's not fun. It's very Indiana Jones-ish. But I just love the slow suspense build that um, that Resident Evil puts up. You know, it's just like, oh, there's a whoopsie. But I don't have, ho, oh, any more ammo yet. So I don't really want to be trying to deal with that right now. Oh, shit. I wish I had time to enjoy these pictures. The top is just like, are you checking out the art? That's fine. I'll you can check out the art for a second. I'll just I'll just I'll just stand here for a bit. It's fine. I'll I'll, I'll eat you later. You just take your time. It's a very nice mansion. Lots of cool things to look at. Um, I'd give you a guided tour, but unfortunately, I've lost the ability to talk. Um, so yeah, I understand that all you can hear right now is uh, 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 uh. so. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Bye. I'll have that door. Thank you. And goodbye. Moving on. Ah, safe room. Safe room, safe room. And, uh... Chemical. I like that. Will you take chemical? I mean, I don't even know what the hell it's for, but yeah, I guess so. Um, I need to... I need to test something too. I need to see if I can actually save or not. Oh yeah, I forgot there's bullets in the thing, majig. So I'm going to put my first aid spray in here. I'll keep that. I'll keep the emblem. I'll ditch the knife for now because I ain't a big fan of the close combat, to be honest. It's a little bit uh, terrifying. Um, I'll... Obviously, I'll take the bullets. I'll just take one for now. And I want to see if the ink ribbons actually work. Um, because if they do, 
I'll try and do this the proper old fashioned way. If they do. Hell yes. Oh, I love it. That's awesome. I love that. I wasn't sure if you would be able to or not, but that's great. It adds even more old school charm to it. So I'll, I'll, drop, I'll put the other one there. I'll take the other bullet clip, I think, because I want to kind of be able to kill things. That would be nice to be able to, you know, protect myself and kill things. You know, it's, it's dual, it's fun and it's sensible. Oh, yeah, you were closer than I thought you were going to be. Buddy. I mean, this was a bit of a novelty too when I first played it because it's like, it's a game that encourages you to, encourages you to not just kill everything you see, you know? Uh, and you're not dead, I know you're not. Ah, uh, okay, I'll see you later. Oh no. Uh, Carbon of armor. Well, oh yeah, and there's... Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Those tight turns and corners, everything's a stress. What's gonna kill me, what's not gonna kill me? Let me just put that last bullet in. Oh, yes, another herb. Beautiful, beautiful. You've got, you've got to love it. I'm going to create myself a nice new strain right now. Oh, double. Du double, double the pleasure. Mmm. Delicious. Where is the... Wood is put in the stove. Uh, paper is on the wall. Something later with that. I think it's a carving of a helmet. So many places it doesn't let you go straight away. It was just so... <clears throat> it was just such a tense experience. The first time. It still is actually because it's been so long since I've played it. It's gone right back to being super tense again. Are you... Come on then. I can wait. Wee. Twirling, twirling, uh oh. Oh, you saw me and you got excited. Oh, nice, you're dead. Haha. <laughs> the doorknob is broken. Oh. Okay. Well, that's alright, I suppose. Oh, shoot, another tight corridor with zombies everywhere. It's a mansion full of corridors, really. It's lacking rooms. Ah, but here we are. Here's a room. Botany book about medicinal herbs. Oh, great, it's the herb tutorial. <clears throat> <clears throat> a botanist voice. Um, <clears throat> As you may know, there are many plants that have medical effects. Since ancient times, humans have been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. <sighs> If you can tell me about it. Uh, in this book, we're going to sample three herbs that grow around the Raccoon Mountains and give their outlines as examples as those plants with medical properties. Each herb has different colours and different effects as medical plants. The green one recovers physical strength, the blue one neutralises natural toxins, while the red herb does not have any effect by itself. A little bit shitty and useless on its own. The red herb is only effective when it's mixed with other herbs. For example, if you mix this herb with the herb that recovers physical strength, the recovery effect will be tripled. By adjusting the amount and experimenting with these, hello, herb, three herbs, you can create various kinds of medicines, but I'll leave the details in your hands. Because that's the best way to acquire true knowledge. Yeah, thanks. You could have just told me everything. Yes, it is evil residence. Tom, how are you doing? I had a little bit of an issue with the start, so I'm glad you weren't here to watch me fudging up the beginning. Um... Oh, by the way, uh, uh, Sonic shenanigans is happening. Yay! Over the moon. 
so happy. Oh, it's, oh geez, what a day. Uh, yes, yes. Well, I figured it out. The, uh, the, 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 the stuff, when you, when you look, the subtitles weren't showing up. <laughs> the subtitles weren't showing up and I had to kind of stretch the screen down a little bit. Um, but we got there. I figured it out. Nothing uncommon. She got sick of saying nothing unusual because that's what that's all she says for the first 10 million times you look at things. Have I been playing this for 40 minutes already? To be honest, I spent about 10 minutes trying to figure everything out. What does Tom Jones want to be? <laughs> oh, yes. Not unusual for zombies to eat your face. It's not unusual to eat all of your brains. Did I leave this? I did leave this one alive. Why? Can you die, please? Die, please. Oh, no. Di oh, I wasted a bullet. Oh, no, he's alive. Oh. Ah. Okay, die now. Oh god, I wasted bullets there like an idiot. I've only got 11 left. Nuts. Yeah, it was in Mars Attacks. It's weird, isn't it? The world's a strange place. What can I say? Hey, Sammy, how are you doing? I see it's up a poster falls on you and scares you. <laughs> yeah, well, you might get your wish. Yeah, you go that way. No, don't do that. Jeez. Get off. Oh, there's too many of you. Oh, but I can't. No, I just, just, I just, I'm trying to open the door. Shit. That's the one. <sighs> Yikes. Oh, no, this room's got crows in it. The title is Give Me Peaceful Sleep. Yeah, in your dreams. Oh, wait, no, that's what you're trying to, I get it, yeah. Uh, I don't like you guys. A picture of a tired middle-aged man. There's a switch below. Will you push it? No. Not the middle-aged one. Newborn baby? Yes. Uh, uh, a young man. Not yet. Just a picture of an infant. That thing, yes. A lively boy? I think that's the next one. A uh, bored looking old man? No. Um, young man? Yes. Wait, what was the other one out here? A tired middle-aged man. Yeah, that's the one. That's the stage I'm at right now. <laughs> and, um... No, wait, no, we did that one. No, 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 no. We already pushed that one. No, 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 no. We want this one. The old dude. The, the, the stage I am rapidly approaching. Oh, wait. There's a message. Give me the peace of death and I'll give you the joy of life. There's a switch. Oh, wait. There we go, I did do it right. Oh, I'm in danger? Oh shit, I didn't realise I was in danger. Uh, I'm not taking it yet because the crows go all shitty when you soon as you do that. Oh, now I'm just fine, but yellow? Oh gosh. Okay, it's time for us to run. Sabras, run far, run fast. Run fast, run far. All that stuff. Oh, I thought they went all nuts as soon as you picked the Star Crest up. Oh. Oh, well, okay then. Alright, I. Okay. I'll take it. Oh. Oh no. Oh, are you kidding? I didn't know you were that close. Get off! I hate this room. I 
I forgot how awkward it is to see where you are and what you're doing in this game. <laughs> ah! Oh yeah, no, not this way. Good grief. I don't need to squish in. Uh, how we doing? Great, back down to caution again. Hmm, how many bullets do I have? Eleven. Hmm. Not the best, is it, really? I need to take out these two zombies in this room. Ideally, that's what I need to do, because I need to get down that corridor. Hmm. Oh, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Blap. Two, three, four, five. Uh. Dead? Good. And you? Uh oh. Two, three, four. We are not dead, which is not fair. Oh, you're still not dead. Okay, bye then. Imagine if that door had been locked. That would have been fun. I've got no bullets. And I didn't bring my knife. I am... Stupid. Do I have a dog? Oh no. But I haven't got any ammo left. I'm not here to hurt you, pupper. Ah, bye. Oh no. Oh god. Oh, this is where you put the... Ah, shit, no. Oh god, no, that was dumb. Oh no. Ah. How did I use all my ammo so quickly? How did that happen? Oh, well, I can't get past this dude without being munched because I haven't got any. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so amateur. How did I ever used to be good at this game? Yeah, fine. Just eat me, I guess. Well, I didn't push him far enough away, did I? There's a first aid spray kicking around somewhere if I can just find my way back to it. But it's not this way though, is it? It's back through the other way, isn't it? How did I forget where I was? Help! Oh no, I'm gonna die. Hmm. That's a lot of rooms. This wasn't the safe room, was it? Ah! Ah, my Resident Evil senses have betrayed me. No, it wasn't. It was this bloody useless room that's got nothing in it. How did I use all my ammo so quickly? I can't even get back through the bloody corridor. The the, uh, the room with two, the, two, the dogs are smashed through the window. Okay, I think the safe room was this way. And then the door on the left. The door, the door on the left, which I'm not shown properly with my... Oh, shit, why did I go back this way? God, my geography skills are useless. This way. Then... Oh, my God. I don't want to do once I get the first aid spray, because... I got, I got nothing, except a knife to protect myself with now. And that's a hard job right there, especially in this game. Resident Evil 2, it gets it a little bit easier to do the close combat, but in this one, everything's tough to do. Oh well, I guess I'm gonna have to just try and tough it out, I suppose. Don't know how, because Yikes. Okay. <laughs> he goes nothing, I suppose. Where else do I need to go, though? I haven't got any more keys or anything yet. Uh. I don't think I missed any... Bullets either. I think I've got everything I can get. 
I mean, to be fair, I've fired 45 bullets already, and I think I've only killed about five zombies. <laughs> so that's on me. Man, I forgot how difficult it was. I also forget if it's Chris or Jill's playthrough that's the hardest. I think, I think it's Jill's. Because there's always usually one that's seen as a slightly harder run through than the other one. Can I not like... Can I not like... I don't think I can do it. No. I think I need a lighter or something for the wood. Uh, I need to find, start finding some keys, opening some doors, unlocking some new areas. That would be good. Right, yeah. Armour that one, helmet the other one. So we took both the zombies out here. This just loops around. I need to find some more ammo. Maybe I missed some. I ain't trying to knife my way through dogs. That's not going to do me any favours. Right, that, that going that way gets me nothing. It gets me to uh, a corridor full of hell. That I don't want nothing to do with. Come on, give me, give me, give me something. Ah, it's not going to, is it? There's drawers here. You tell me the people don't just randomly keep bullets everywhere in this mansion? I would. Seems like a necessity. Right, well, cool. I guess we have to... Trying to think. I'm trying to think how many, if the crests I've got are enough to open the door where the dog's jumping at you. But that means getting past the zombie that's blocking the corridor. Because I think I was one bullet short from killing him. But if I get good at knifing, if I increase my knifing skills, maybe we can do it. I mean, maybe. I'm not filling myself with confidence. Not a good start. Don't aim down. Well, I could have just gone past him, I guess. But I'm stuck in this corridor if he comes back. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, you turn away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you do that. That's perfect. Shoot. Oh... Oh, Barry. Barry! Yay! Jill! Friend! What's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. No shit, Sherlock. Oh, this hall is dangerous. <laughs> Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. This hall's the safest Let's place! Let's find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. Ooh. What is it? <laughs> it's a weapon. It's really powerful. Nice. Especially against living things. Better take it with you. But we're fighting dead things, though. How about you, Barry? I have this. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take this, then. <laughs> I have this. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I like that. It's like, this is super powerful. I mean, you have to find the, 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 the launcher to put him in. But, <laughs> it's a start. I'll give you the first piece of the puzzle. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. All right, cool. Um... So I did get to a new area. I just forgot about that door. It's all good. We figured it out. Oh. Oh, oh no. 
Well, that's ominous. I hope this blood isn't from my teammates. I mean... Ominous. Oh, yeah. This is the bit where the crows go absolutely bonkers at you. Ah. It's Forrest. He's been pecked to death by crows. I mean, how do you know it was crows? Just because you can hear crows? Your first instinct is to blame the crows just because you can hear them? I mean, I, I think that's a little bit... I think that's a little bit presumptuous, if you ask me. I mean, I'm just saying. Uh oh Yeah, this is the bit where the crows peck at you. But I need to get the thing. Pick the thing up. Pick, pick the thing up. Why are you not picking the thing up? Yeah, that thing. Just the bazooka. Just a random bazooka. It's fine. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Forrest, Forrest, Forrest liked his bazookas. What can I say? He didn't. He wasn't standard. He didn't like taking guns. If you couldn't blow a hole through something, he didn't want to take it. He didn't want to use it. You know, it was all or nothing with that guy. Is that, uh... Oh, I was, I was going to say, is that the Mona Lisa? I'm like, that would have been a pricey little artifact to have in a research... Research lab mansion. Bit over the top, huh? Could you just run in a straight line? Man, when I first played these games, I got so used to this control system, I used to be able to just... No problem, right? Oh... Right, I remember... I remember this particular room. Now, I think... Is there two zombies? Oh, shit! Yes, there's two zombies. Now, I need one of them to maybe just take a little bit of a detour here. Can you please? I don't want to... I don't want to kill you, buddy. Thank you. I mean, I do... Ah! Ah! Oh! I mean, I do want to kill you, but... Not right now? Was there any items over here? I forget. I forget. Oh, shoot, there isn't. I think you just have to push the statue through. There's, a, there's like a hole, and you push it down, and it smashes on the floor below, and it's got like a, another crest or something in it. But for right now, I want to just, you know, maybe just not die immediately. I think... Yeah, I thought this corridor had more zombies in it. I don't want a bazooka, you dude. It's a waste of bazooka. Oh, but you know what? I might have to. I might have to go back in and bazooka him. Alright. Alright, you forced my hand. I guess we could have to blow into smithereens. It's just the way it goes. Alright, come on. Where are you? I mean, I can't say it wasn't satisfying, because it really was. You too? I mean, I've got plenty. Well, I haven't. That's the problem. I don't want to... Where are you going? I... Hello? Uh... Ah, there you are. <sighs> Feels like such a waste. Big old bazooka shells on... Playing old zombos. <sighs> I think there's another save room down. Wait a minute. A numeric key panel. How do you know I don't know the pass number? Ah, how do you know I don't know it? How do you know I'm not psychic? You don't know. You, 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 I might be. I mean, I'm not. But who's to say I'm not just pretending I'm not? Oh god, there's zombies everywhere! Well... I don't even need to shoot you. What? I'm not even wasting... No, I'm going back up the stairs, back down. I'm not wasting that bazooka shell. Yet. 
Not to say I won't waste it at some point. <laughs> this is me. How did I ever beat this game? I used to go, I used to use, I used to use so much ammo, I never ever used to conserve ammo. This is the first game that kind of made you kind of have to. But I was still sucked at it. Yes. Vitamins and serums. Well, I mean, oh, there's not even any ammo in. Oh, wait, no, there's something on the bed. Oh, it's ink ribbons. I mean, I can. And I can save again. So I guess we'll do that. If I play Resident Evil 2 as well, I can get through a good chunk of that game without worrying about saving because I've played it so many times. I've played it so many more times in this game. It's just 2, I, I, I don't know. 2 was like the pinnacle for me of the PlayStation 1 Resident Evil games. It was great. So is this... Do these go with the bazooka? I'm guessing they do. So they'd be good for something. Um... I want to... Right. Man, it makes it awkward to combine your items. You can't combine them in the thing. You have to combine them here. And then go back to the chest and put them in again. Okay, cool. Um... I feel like I could put some stuff away, but I feel like I might need them. Like two screens from now. Uh, that's the thing with Resident Evil 2. I know exactly what items I need when. So I know what I can put away for a bit. And what I need to keep. But with this one, I can't bloody remember nothing. I can't remember nothing. That's why I thought I'd play actually. Well, that and the fact that it's October. It is spoopy month, so... Oh. I could have totally walked around him, but... I'd prefer to just have one zombie to worry about, rather than two. Oh, come on! I think there's one around on these corners. No? Uh-huh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. This is where I need the chemical. Oh, bugger, and I just put it away. I'm so damn an idiot. Right, cool. Well, back we go. Literally as well. What did I literally just say about putting stuff away and not knowing when I need stuff and all that nonsense? My timing is impeccable on that one. Okay, bye. Back to the save room. Again. So irritated with myself. Just put stuff away. <sighs> Okay, give me, give me this back. If I need some of the emblems as well, the room after, I'm going to be super annoyed. This is what Resident Evil was famous for though, right? You'd run around a whole chunk of a building and you'd unlock a few things here and there, but then there'd be one locked door somewhere near the beginning and you'd run around and run around and run around some more and then uh oh that wasn't the right way to go and in the end you'd end up having to go all the way back to that don't need to be getting to unlock it because you get the key for it after about two hours that pump sounds pretty i mean it just it was an old pump but boy it's pretty loud what do you mean i can't use it i thought i could Oh, because I'm not actually facing the thing. There we go. Just gonna kill the plants, do some weed killing.
Peace. And uh, you're done. Sucks to be you. Um, ooh, it's a key. Finally, we have one of the keys. Uh, which one is it, though? Check. Boop, 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 boop. Nothing important, but you turn it around. It's an armor key. So now we can open all the doors that are embossed with an armor symbol. So that's something. It's a start. And I'm going to just slide on past you. Do I still have a bazooka shot? I'd still have two, actually. Good. Blam. Now, I think... I think there's an Amador super close to this. I can't remember. For sure. Oh, there's this. Oh, there's... Ah, uh, yeah. Some tigers have a red eye and a blue eye. Two gems. One of them is in that statue at the top of the stairs that you have to push over and smash. Um, uh, oh, my lock picked that one. Give me some bullets. Regular old bullets. I want to go back to my regular gun. I want to stop wasting all these bazooka shots. Yay! It heard me. My prayer was answered. My prayer for... Ammo. Come on. That. Re-equip this. That's better. Uh, none of them looks useful. Uh, nothing special. Well. <gasps> ah, it's this bit. This is a classic moment, this. And you know what? I am going to re-equip just for this one bit. It's the infamous diary. Oh no! Oh, what a shame. Right, here we go. <laughs> the Keeper's Diary. This has become kind of like a cult part of the Resident Evil series, this one. Because it's like one of the it's like the first little glimpse you get into the background of what happened, and it's just it's also super creepy. May the 9th, 1998. At night we played poker with Scott the Guard, Alias and Steve the Researcher. Steve was really lucky. I don't think he was cheating. <laughs> Scumbag. May the 10th, 1998. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. Looks like a gorilla without any skin. So, it would look like kind of humanish then. Well, skinned humanish. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it. Tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. May the 11th, 1998. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like a space suit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. Oh no, well, wouldn't you just know it? No wonder. Those researchers never rest. Even at night. May the 12th, 1998. I've been wearing this annoying space suit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. May 13th, 1998. I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back and the doctor told me I did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. Guess I can sleep well tonight. Yeah, nothing at all suspicious about that. They go, oh, look, my back's all swollen up and weird and stuff. Well, I guess you don't need to wear the protection anymore. Cool, I must be better. This must be part of the healing process. May the 14th, 1998. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They'd been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'd be in real trouble if the higher-ups find out. That would explain the random eatings going on in the mountains. May the 5th, 1998. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time. 
but I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They said the company has ordered that no one leaves the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? May the 16th, 1998. I heard a researcher who tried to escape from this mansion was shot last night. Meh. Anyway, my entire body feels burning and itchy at night. Never mind the guy that got shot, whatever. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? Kind of... Kind of keeping a sensible-ish head on his shoulders, considering. Can you imagine just sitting there scratching your arm and like... <laughs> ah, I suppose I'm writing my diary. May 19th, 1998. Fever gobber itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy, Scott came. Ugly face or killed him. Tasty. Four. Itchy. Tasty. Oh, it just... Oh, it still gives me chills. Ah, oh, it's like watching the, someone's descent into becoming, like, one of the Resident Evil zombies. It's just so... Oh. And that little insight into what actually happened and... Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so good. It's one of my favourite little moments in the game, that. Ah. Shivers. Itchy. Tasty. Oh. It's like, this game is really good for that. The slow build of... Just ominous things always incoming. And the tension of the, the diary itself. Oh, right, this loops around to, um... Yeah, this is where we started. Yeah, 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 this is, uh... Kenneth from the Stars Bravo team. We'll, 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 we'll save you the horror of looking at his decapitatedness. Now he's become a mere shadow of his former self. I mean, that's not quite what that phrase is generally used for. Yeah, he worked himself to the bone, that guy. Super stressed out. Man, he's just not as vibrant as he used to be. Oh, yeah, if you click on him again, there's some bullets. More bullets. Now, this is when I remember, so I had to... This is very spoopy. This is spoopy, Phasmo spoopy. It's spoopy month, so it's spoopy game season. It all ties together. Oh. A fine grand piano. This is something fine in this place. Oh, yeah. I think you can push it this way. Ink ribbons, I think. No? Music notes. Oh, right, because if you play the right notes on the pia 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 no, it opens a dia 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 door. Or something. Okay, do I have to actually use the notes with it? Yes. Moonlight Sonata. Ah, a classic. Come on, Jill, you can do it. You haven't played a piano before, Jill? Quite impressive if you haven't. Uh -huh. I mean, what kind of mechanism would that be? Oh, I heard Moonlight Sonata. Better open up. What if someone just wandered in? It's a bar too, right? And... I don't think they probably let people in and out and in and out that easily, but what if someone just randomly whipped on Moonlight Starter on the jukebox or something? Not that I'm seeing a jukebox in here. And I was going to say, what if someone has it as their ringtone, but this was 1998, so... Uh, well, phones were just about making a comeback. Yep, that's, that's, that's precisely what would happen. Oh yeah, it's another crest. Tis the gold emblem. Not crest, emblem. So I've got to... What else do I have? Oh yeah, shit. I need to replace it with something else. Uh, this game came out, in, I think it was actually 96. Uh, Res Evil 2 came out in 98. It's just this game was set in 98, but it came out in 96. Yeah. And then Res Evil 3 was like late 99, 2000. I'm sorry, I got something in my eye. I'm having all kinds of bloody issues with my body tonight. I don't know what the hell's going on. Um, so I think I need to bring the other crest that I have here to replace that gold one with, I think. Hmm. 
I don't know why I thought I could one-shot this. So the original plan was to one-shot this tonight. I don't know why I thought I could do that. There's no way I can do that. It's gonna have to be two sittings. 